Hola a todos. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I'm still here in Mexico City. And today I'm going to talk about why I love the city. Now, when people talk about the greatest cities in the world, New York, London, Paris, and Tokyo usually come up. But I think Mexico City deserves a place on this list as one of the coolest cities in the world. And here's why. Number one, the food. I think my favorite thing about Mexico City has to be the food. Sure, there are lots of amazing restaurants to dine at. But hands down, what I love the most is the street food culture. From as early as 6 in the morning, you find people lining up to buy coffee and pastries or bread from the vendors in the streets. And late at night, if you have the munchies after hitting up a few bars or clubs, it's not hard to find tacos that will hit the spot from one of the many taco vendors on the street. Make sure to get a taco al pastor. They're amazing. And what fresh orange juice in the hot afternoon? Look out for a juice stand in your neighborhood. Just by roaming the streets, it's easy to find something to your liking. They also abuelas on the street corners making tacos, slacoyos, or quesadillas. And the vendors selling sweet potatoes late at night and tamales. And don't forget the many bakeries or panaderias across the city. The aroma of freshly baked bread and pastries is sure to lure you in. I also highly recommend trying Comida Corrida, which translates to food on the run. You can find that at many local restaurants, mostly in the non-touristy areas, and they come with a menu del dia or menu of the day. This is a three to four course meal that comes with different options and typically costs between 50 to 80 pesos and is so filling that it will fill you up for the whole day. I could do an entire video about the food here in Mexico City. That's how rich the food culture here is. And speaking of food, there are many markets around the city called Mercados where you can buy fresh produce and meat from. Of course, you also find some food stands in the markets too. But not just food, you can buy fresh flowers, and depending on the market, some household items, candles, incense, crystals, you name it. I also love the weekly open air farmers markets called Tianguis, which you can find in some neighborhoods once a week on a designated day. And they usually close off a section of the street and you can roam around and buy your fruits and vegetables, meat, clothes, and even get a bite to eat from one of the food stalls. Mexico City is filled with history, and I like how the past here merges with the present. You can find it just walking through the streets of Centro Historico, which used to be the center of the ancient Aztec city called Tenochtitlan, before the Spanish built modern Mexico City on top of it. There you can see the Templo Mayor, which was the main temple of the city of Tenochtitlan. Or you can walk around the streets surrounded by colonial buildings. You can gaze at the Diego Rivera murals at the Palacio Nacional or take a trip to the pyramids of Teotihuacan or to the canals of Xochimilco where you can see the last remnants of a vast water transport system built by the Aztecs. And speaking of history, Mexico City has more than 150 museums. There's the obvious choices like the Anthropology Museum, which is my favorite. It's so large you can spend hours there. And then obviously there's the Museo Frida Kahlo, Sumaya, Umex, and the Museo de Palacio de Bellas Artes. But I like the smaller, less visited museums like the Tequila Museum, and the Puke Museum. There are so many options to keep you occupied here every weekend. 
And while Mexico City sometimes gives the impression that it's a standard concrete jungle, there are actually lots of parks, gardens, and tree-lined streets to enjoy. <laughs> the most obvious choices, of course, being Parque Mexico and Parque España. Big Park in Alameda Central. But all you need to do is type in Parks Mexico City in Google Maps and start exploring. So I'm fascinated by the different neighborhoods here in Mexico City. Here are some of my favorites. There's Navate, the neighborhood that I live in, which is middle class and non-touristy. And you find lots of delicious tacos here and it's easy to get to other parts of the city from Navate. There's Zona Rosa, which is party central, and you're sure to find lots of good clubs and bars there. And it's also very LGBTQ friendly. Cuyocan is home to the Frida Kahlo Museum and has some fantastic mercados in that neighborhood too. It's also a great place to be for the Day of the Dead celebrations in November. The Central Historical, which I've already mentioned, and obviously I'm going to mention, you guessed it, Roma and Condesa. They both have a reputation for being expatty and gentrified and more expensive than the other neighborhoods in Mexico City. But they also have some of the best bars and restaurants in the city. And I love walking through its tree-lined streets and spending time in its parks. And here's a controversial one, Tepito. Now, Tepito is known as the most dangerous neighborhood in Mexico City. And for basically most of my time here, I never ventured there. But this year, I did a tour of Tepito run by a woman who was born and raised there and still lives there. And I got to walk through the neighborhood, hear about its history and its stories. And I loved the experience. And I've been back there several times by myself since then. And I've never had any issues. You get to see a part of Mexico City that you never find in Roma and Condesa, for example. And the people have always been friendly and outgoing whenever I go there. Now that said, it, that doesn't mean that it's not a dangerous neighborhood and I'm not telling you to go. It's just my experience there. And as usual, like other parts of the city or anywhere else in the world, you just have to keep your wits about you and always pay attention to what's going on around you and never take any valuables with you to the neighborhood. And there's so many other neighborhoods in Mexico City that I could go on about like Polanco, San Rafael de Valle, Napoles, and Santa Maria la Ribera. The best thing to do is just to explore the neighbors for yourself. What I find very distinctive about Mexico City and what truly separates from other cities in the world are the sounds. On a bad day, it can be annoying and drive you crazy. And on a good day, you might find the sounds charming and one of the reasons why you fell in love with the city in the first place. In the morning, there's the sounds of the gas man selling his gas. Or the loud ringing bell of the garbage truck. During the day, there's the street performers like the Organilleros. saxophone or trumpet players, violin players, or if you're lucky, you might even get an opera singer. At night, there's the vendors selling food like tamales. And of course, there's the Mexico City anthem, Se Compran Cochones. They're basically going around the city offering to buy used microwaves, refrigerators, mattresses, etc. 
Mexico City has its own soundtrack, which you will either love or hate or something in between. And last but not least, I think my favorite thing about La Ciudad de Mexico is the people. It's funny, I remember when I told people back in 2018 that I was going to Mexico City, a common reaction that I got from most foreigners was surprise. They were like, why are you going there? Isn't it dangerous? But one of the reasons why I ended up staying here is that from the moment I landed, I felt right at home here. Most of the time that I step outside the door, I have friendly encounters with people, whether it's a quick buenas tardes, or con permiso, or being asked to don de res, or striking up a conversation with a stranger in the mercado or in the metro. And there's a sense of humor here that I find is very direct, very vulgar, and very cheeky. And once you pick up Spanish, you'll be able to pick that up as well. Now I know that my experience is not representative of all of Mexico City and the experience of other people here. And like every other city, there's the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I can definitely say that on the whole, my experience living in Mexico City has been a great one. Do you also have love for Mexico City? Whether you're a foreigner or a local, drop a comment and let me know why you love living in the city. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Adios.